Hello all dinosaurs, we are now at level 2 Jurassic World Midlands and we have 150 dinosaurs in the box. We have some awesome new figures as well as this brand new collector's case with plenty of minifigures and such. So let's get started. Alright guys, first figure, let's take a look at this brand new Zuru Robo Alive Stegosaurus, Dino War Stegosaurus, it is pretty awesome. It comes with lights, it comes with sounds, so let's turn this on together, alright? Let's switch on the button right here. Can you see it? Moving. Very very awesome stuff. It will roar as well, and you can actually see some lights coming out from the plates. You can see the blue lights coming out, and it comes with this projectile as well, so once you press this button, it will actually shoot. So it's pretty cool. Really, really nice. It comes with a helmet as well. I think the helmet is right inside the box. You can put this right on. And it feels like an armored dinosaur. Really, really awesome. I'm hoping to get the T-Rex really soon as well, which is right over here with the T-Rex and a Raptor. So we'll probably get those two for our next video. Next item, let's take a look at this. You know, really cool light and sound system. It comes with a T-Rex, blue, Mosasaurus and Triceratops. There are switches right behind, so let's turn all of them on. They have motion sensor, which means once you wave right in front, they will actually roar and they will light up. So it's really, really nice. Okay, let us turn this off at a moment. Okay, and let's just dive right into the different figures. Okay, guys, so first, another figure of the day, it's actually this repainted Indominus Rex. Can you guys please let me know whether this is Gen 2 or Gen 3? So we have repainted this on our own using the um, Destroy and Devour Indominus Rex. So hopefully we'll get to do more repaints um, really soon. Next, let's take a look at this brand new Captive Collector's Case that comes with an exclusive Golden Indominus Rex. Have you guys seen my review on this? So basically, this is an exclusive Indominus Rex. So all these other minifigures can be obtained from the Surprise X. We have Golden Blue. We also have a Silver T-Rex, a Bronze Indoraptor. I've basically put some of my most favorite figures from this collection. We have Indoraptor, the normal version. We have Conotaurus Toro, the new version, and the older version here, okay? And the last figure is actually the Indominus Rex, which is the plain version. I really love this golden Indominus Rex. So you can see it comes with a background that looks really beautiful. Yeah, fantastic collector's case. I'm gonna put this right over here. Let's move on and take a look at other figures. I've also brought this to show you guys. This is also from Zuru, which is pretty cool. Um, supposed to light up and make some noises. Check this out. Let me just switch off the lights. Yeah, you can see the neck glowing in the dark, which is so cool. It will also raw. So that is a skeleton of a Triceratops. Let's just dive right into the box because we have plenty of random dinosaurs inside, okay? We have a repainted Galaxy Indoraptor. We have actually repainted this on our own and we named this as Galaxy Indoraptor. We also just purchased this um, Astomanosuchus, which is a um, prehistoric animal from Jurassic Park series. This is actually a very, very vintage figure. Looks really cool, but it has a missing piece right here. All right, um, Sucomimers, hopefully you can get a repaint of this really soon. This is the action attack Sucomimers. This is our own repaint. This was actually painted by Mrs. Dan. It is an Indominus Rex. Um, also painted using the Destroy and Devour Indominus Rex. Really nice one. Okay, let's move on and dive right into the box. We have another Sucomimers right here, which is the Dewer Attack Sucomimers. You guys should have seen this before. And a repainted Scorpius Rex. Yes, I can't wait to receive more figures of the Scorpius Rex. So this is actually taken from the Slash and Battle Scorpius Rex. Oh, the buttons, the, the button can't can be pushed right now because <laughs> it's like really stuck. But yeah, really nice repaint. I want you guys to let me know what other dinosaurs we should be repainting next, okay? Tarbosaurus, hopefully we can get a repaint of this as well. A okay, really beautiful one, which is a um, dinosaur closely related to a T-Rex. Imitator, yes. Have you guys seen this? This is the latest Mononicus. Yep, the latest one. 
We do have the older one, but I didn't bring it all um, and put it inside of this box. Okay, let's proceed. Stringosaurus, guys. Stringosaurus. Yes, this is also one of the latest releases. Let's take a look at some of this random dinosaurs. Where is this from? I think this is actually from a Kor Korean anime, but I don't know the title of that series. So if you guys know, you know what you know series this is from, let me know down below, okay? This is from Dino Trucks, I think, but I have no idea what's the name of this. Um, I mean, apparently it looks like a T-Rex because it is like, you know, I feel it's a T-Rex, but I'm not too sure. So if you guys know, let me know down below. Next, we have a Chilingosaurus, which is really cool. This is like one of the obscure species that Mattel has come up with. There will be plenty of new species coming out for Jurassic World Dominion, so I'm pretty excited. Next, we have a Concavenator. Not too sure whether you guys have seen this before. Um, yeah, it's a dual attack on the concavenator. It looks really good. Okay, we also brought the Kakarodontosaurus. Yes, the latest one. The previous one is actually a uh, much cleaner version with just like, you know, one or two color scheme, but this one is so much cooler. There's orange, blue, you know, black, really cool stuff. Okay, next. What is this? A Triceratops, I think. A baby Triceratops from Dino... Dinosaur train, is it Dino train or something like that? Yeah, let me know down below. Yes, let's take a look at the other figures. We have a Spinosaurus right here from Recur. Pretty cool figure. We have one of those really cute and adorable Dimetrodon. This is an um, Ankylosaurus from the Jurassic World Battlers. Yep. This is like a finger puppet of. Apparently, it looks like a Brachiosaurus, but I'm not too sure. So this one looks like a Sakurasukus. Yeah, from Imagine Next. Um, we have an Apatosaurus right here. And this one, it should be a Quadlus from Takara Tomi. A very weird dinosaur is probably like a Carnotaurus. All right, let's move on and take a look at more Mattel figures. This is the real field, not real field. This is actually the Ocean Protector Mosasaurus. We, we do have a real field Mosasaurus right at the back, but you can see the color difference between the two. The real field Mosasaurus is made up of, um, you know, I think mostly rubber, but the ocean protector is made up of like, you know, 20% or 15% recycled plastic. Okay, we have a balancing pteranodon right over here. You can actually balance this on your finger anywhere. It's pretty cool. I mean, you can just balance it on this, um, Anywhere basically, um, let me try to put this right over here, but of course it has to be, yeah, it can just balance on its own. Pretty cool. Yep, let's move on. Um, we got this pretty recently, but I can't remember where this was actually from. Is this like from Hasbro? It's a pretty cute um, T-Rex. Yeah, really cute, wearing some hat gear. Let's move on. A dinosaur train um, T-Rex. Yep, beautiful one. You know, we have a spare of this, which is the Apatosaurus, I think. A Stegosaurus. Do you guys know where this is actually from? This is actually from the National Geographic set. Not the best looking Stegosaurus, but it, it looks pretty cool. A Brachiosaurus from Toys R Us, I think. Another one from Toys R Us as well. It came in the set. This one was also from Toys R Us. I think this is a T-Rex, like a mini T-Rex. This is like a Denonicus, a pretty cool one. It actually comes with sounds and um, lights, I suppose, but I think it's no longer... Oh, it's still working, guys. Let I me mean, check this out. Yeah, you can see the feathers lighting up. Very nice one, I must say. All right, another Brachiosaurus. What is this? Is this a Kentrosaurus? I think this could be a Hoyangosaurus. Let's take a look at um, the name written right below. Yes, it is a Tojangosaurus, a um, Stegosaurus from China. This one should be the Brachiosaurus, I think. The previous one should be an Apatosaurus. Oh, another Dino Trucks um, T-Rex, I suppose. I'm not too sure because I've never watched that series before. So if you guys know, please let me know down below. Okay, this one is a figure from Vitae, but I can't remember what is the name of this dinosaur. It doesn't have a name below as well. So if you guys know, let me know down below as well. Next, we have a um, Terra by Bertet 
T-Rex. Yes, this is a brand called Tyra by Batet. We have the entire set, so let's take a look at them. Um, this it's a um, Spinosaurus from Favorite Co, which is a Japanese brand. It looks really beautiful. I love the sale of the um, Spinosaurus. What is this? Are you guys able to tell? This is a Dilophosaurus, the double crested lizard. I think so. Oh no, guys! It's actually a Monolophosaurus from Reeker. I beg your pardon. All right, another new really obscure species from Vitae. I have no idea what this dinosaur is. Oh yes, this is a Scutosaurus that we have purchased along with the Astomanosuchus, which is a um, Scutosaurus. Okay, so if you guys know, Mattel actually has its own Scutosaurus as well, but I really love this one. Yeah, this one is really beautiful. It's a vintage Jurassic Park figure. And um, this one right here should be a T-Rex. A bootleg Indoraptor. Yes, I mean, if you take a look at it, the color scheme is totally wrong. I mean, the, the color is supposed to be black and it doesn't have green feet for an Indoraptor. Let's move on. What is this? It looks like a Ceratosaurus. And this one should be from Imagine Next. We have a Dino Trucks Pteranodon right over here, which is pretty cool with flappable wings. Okay, um, let's see. Let's move on. We have a T Rex from Recur as well. It's a foam made rubber, I mean, it's a foam made dinosaur, so it's pretty safe. This is a dinosaur discovered in Australia, which is known as an Australovanator. Yeah, this is actually a single figure from the um, Natural History of Museum, so really, really nice one to have. Um, this is actually the stand of the Spinosaurus, so you can just insert it right underneath the body, and it, it becomes like a statue, like a mini statuette. So that's pretty cool. We would have moved the box um, closer. This is actually an Amargosaurus from Terra by Batet. This one right here is supposed to be a Stegosaurus, but they have actually got this wrong. So the Stegosaurus only has four spikes on um, the tail. Yeah, but they have actually created like eight spikes, which is a totally wrong um, interpretation. Right here, we have a National Geographic Spinosaurus, which looks really weird, but I love the colors. It's really colorful and beautiful. Oh, what else we have? Um, we have an Aileramus from Mattel right here. Okay, that's a beautiful one. Um, National Geographic Pteranodon right over here. This one, it looks like an Apatosaurus, but I'm not too sure. So let's take a look at the name. Marmanchisaurus, another dinosaur discovered in China. Yes. Right here, we have a Triceratops from the Korean anime series. I'm not too sure what is the name of that. So please help me do some research and let me know, okay? This is a Therizinosaurus. I love the color combination. The color combination of um, the turquoise and the orange looks really beautiful. Therizinosaurus is known as the Scythe Lizard. Next, we have a Dimetrodon from Happy Keen. This is a beautiful figure. I love it. What else we've got? Um, a Concavenator. So this is this has got to be the only one in the world. I mean, take a look at the eye. This eyeball is actually out of the eye socket. It's supposed to be painted inside like this, but it's painted on the eyelid, like, you know, on top of the eye, eye socket, which is really, really weird, but this makes it really unique as well. Okay, we've actually brought, I've um, actually brought this, you know, golden Velociraptor. There will be more Velociraptors coming out really soon. I mean, if you take a look behind, if you can see closely, we have a couple of our new Velociraptors right over there. Okay, those are like the rubber, you know, stretchable um, Velociraptors, okay? Let's go back to the video. We have an, um, a Patasaurus right here, I think. This looks like, oh, I have no idea what this is. It could be like a Pachyrhinosaurus. Yeah, it could be a Pachyrhinosaurus, like a young Pachyrhinosaurus. This, it's a Postosuchus, if I'm not wrong. Let's take a look at the name, Postosuchus, yes. It's a pretty cool figure. This one is from um, a brand called Wano. I have no idea what this is. It could be an Iguanodon, who knows. This is Grimlock, if I'm not wrong, from Transformer. But I don't think you can transform this into a robot. This is a minifigure of a Triceratops from Mattel. A Toys R Us, um, T-Rex. We have the favorite Ko, Styracosaurus, the um, Japanese brand. Okay. This one right here is also from Favorite Co. It's a beautiful mini Pachycephalosaurus. Looks really nice. Yeah, it even has the name written right below. So 1 is to 50 scale. Really nice one. Uh, let's see, what else we've got? A Terabyte's head. Is this Euplocephalus or Ankylosaurus? Let's take a look. Euplocephalus. Awesome stuff. Yep. This is a Pachyrhinosaurus from Terabyte's as well. Looks really beautiful. 
Okay. Um, the name is not written below, but that's fine. Let's see what else we got. I have no idea is this like a Pteranodon or is this like a Cazagolus? This is basically from um, Schleich. It doesn't have a name written right, right, right below. We have a Gyro Spear right here, which is from LEGO. And speaking of LEGO, I've actually purchased plenty of LEGO compatible um, figures. Um, I'm gonna fix it and gonna show it to you guys really soon. Still waiting for them to arrive. We have um, Ankylosaurus from Toys R Us. I have no idea where this is from. This is possibly from Bantan. It looks like a Triceratops, you know, a Triceratops part human, part Triceratops. It looks really cool. A mini Pteranodon, a T Rex from a Toys R Us set, with a Takara Tomy um, Elasmosaurus, I think, and a vintage, not exactly vintage, a Lego Pteranodon. This is probably a Pteranodon from um, the Imagine Next series, I'm not too sure. And uh, what else we've got? A finger puppet of a Triceratops. This is like a mini Quatlas from Takara Tomy. And we have a pretty huge uh, Imagine Next uh, Triceratops right here. Uh, it comes with this little switch. So you can see it's pretty cool. You can sit a human being on top of it. Let's see what else we've got. Okay, this one is right here. It's not a Kentrosaurus. It is actually a Lexovisaurus. Let me just take a look at the name. If there is one below, uh, no, there isn't one. And you can see it comes with a broken spike. Yeah, so this was already damaged when I received it. So I was pretty sad. But that's fine. Um, right here, we have a Herarasaurus. Yep, we have plenty of Herarasaurus from Mattel, and hopefully they can stop <laughs> giving us more Herarasaurus. I, I definitely prefer more, you know, different species. Let's, um, what is this? This is probably like a, um, it looks like a Sinoceratops, probably, or a Pachyrhinosaurus, I'm, I'm not too sure. Yeah. This is a bootleg Giganotosaurus that is imitating the one from um, Schleich. A Wano, I think this is from Wano, a uh, Parasaurola first, not the best looking one. A Triceratops, Spinosaurus, in house brand from Triceratops. Um, a Lego, Segosaurus, I think this is like, this is an original Lego figure, one of the vintage ones. We have a um, Dilophosaurus, the Double Crested Lizard. This one is really cool. You can actually dip this into water, you press the belly right here, and it would just um, take it out of water, and when it, once you press it, it would just squirt water. It's, it's pretty cool can play in the swimming pool. This is like a baby Triceratops from um, dino Dinosaur Train. And um, we have a bobber head of a T-Rex. I mean, take a look at this. It, you can place this in your car and as, as you drive, it will just bobber its head. So it's pretty cool. This is from um, the Good Dinosaur Movie, but I have no idea what is the name of this character. It's like one of the, you know, T-Rex. I mean, the T-Rex are a bunch of really, really cool dinosaurs in the dinosaur, um, you know, the Good Dinosaur Movie. We have a Paris Rolla first from Favorite Co. I love the figures from Favorite Co. They are really well detailed. And yes, this is another one. This is actually a Brachiosaurus. Yep, beautiful one. They even have a name written right below, which is really good. I definitely prefer, you know, figures with the names written below. This is a very, very awesome and cute, you know, T-Rex. It's actually like a candy dispenser. So once you push this, it will just, you know, give you a candy. Really nice one. It's an official um, Jurassic World product, if, if you guys are not sure. Okay, this one, it looks like a Baryonyx, I have no idea, but there's no brand. Another Triceratops, which is the same one. This, it's a um, bootleg blue figure. Looks kind of, um, not, the, not the best looking. We have a bootleg um, Schleich Velociraptor right here. And this is actually from one of the um, Dinosaur Surprise eggs or something like that. Really beautiful Spinosaurus. We have a mini T-Rex head. This is from, it's not a Jurassic World one, but it's, it looks pretty good. The box right over here. Okay, this one. I don't think this is a um, Therizinosaurus, but it's related to a Therizinosaurus. It's like, start, it starts with B. I can't remember the name. Uh, does it have the name? No, it doesn't have. So if you guys know, please let me know down below as well. We have a Conotaurus. Um, from Terra by Botet, a Triceratops from Favorite Cool. This is an Acrocanthosaurus from Terra by Botet as well, a really beautiful one. Acrocanthosaurus is known as the High Spine Lizard, and um, this is a Stegosaurus from 
uh, favorite coat. I really love the color scheme of this. It's really vibrant and really beautiful. Um, Allosaurus that comes with a stand, so that's pretty cool. Okay, from um, favorite coat as well. This is one of the, those um, Jurassic World Battlers. This is an Indominus Rex. We have a Brachiosaurus from the Dinosaur Train. Oh, it's so hard to reach. All the figures inside. Okay, more Dinosaur Train figures. We have a uh, mini... Isn't it like a mini T-Rex? Probably, I'm not too sure. This is probably a Quadlis. Yeah. Oh yes, this is like one of those really, really cute and adorable um, figure from Science Adventure, if I'm not wrong. Science and Adventure. Science and Nature. This is actually a Lino Dinosaurus. Yeah, very cool. I think this is our only figure that we have from uh, of a Linosaurus. This is a Velociraptor from a you know a dinosaur book. So it's a pretty cool one. No idea what this is. It looks like a dragon. Looks like a puppy. I have no idea what this is. It's, it's really adorable. Um, Styracosaurus from Favorite Co. Really beautiful one, I must say. Okay, let's see. Let's zoom in. We have a mini Carnotaurus. This is also from a book. This is from Takara Tomi. It's actually from a bath bomb. So it's a really tiny dinosaur. Looks really nice. We have a T-Rex on wheels. This one looks like the ones from, uh, you know, the cat toy monster. We have a, um, probably a Triceratops from Dino Trucks. A mini Spinosaurus from the little book as well. So the book came with a lot of free figures. Okay, and um, take a look at this. A really cute and adorable mini Spinosaurus from Takara Tomi. They smell good at the same time because they are actually from Bath Bomb. Um, this is a um, T-Rex from a book which is known as Fidel. Yeah, it's a nice one. All right, let's see. Another mini um, figure. This is a um, Pteranodon from Takara Tomi. A Mosasaurus from Science and Nature. Oh, from Recur. I beg your pardon. Okay, what is this? This is actually a Cryolophosaurus from Terra by Patet. A nice one. Um, a Carnotaurus from Terra by Patet as well. A uh, Ceratosaurus, I beg your pardon. Not the best looking, I must say. A Brachiosaurus finger puppet. Oh, I just got this like a few days back. A Science and Nature Brachiosaurus. Looks really beautiful, I must say. It's really well detailed for such a minifigure. And um, this is also from Science and Nature, but I have no idea what is the species of this. So let's take a look. This is actually a um, Matabasaurus. Okay, really obscure species, I must say. Let's see what else we've got. Another Science science and Nature, um, you know, figure. This is a Econotaurus, really beautiful one. A Mini Takara Tomi T-Rex from the Bath Bomb as well. A mini stegosaurus. All right, and our last figure of the day is actually a Parasaurolophus from Terra by Botet. I'm gonna show you guys some of my most favorite figures from this box. Okay, definitely has to be one of this, which is um, you know, the Indominus Rex. We also, I really, I really, really love the new Indominus Rex, the Golden Indominus Rex. This is like so cool. Golden painted looks so good. Yeah, so this entire case has got to be one of my most favorite items in this box as well. Okay, so one, two. I'm gonna choose another one, probably the repainted Jan 2 um, Scorpius Rex. I'm gonna choose two more. Two more. This Scrutosaurus? How about this Scrutosaurus? Yeah, I think it looks really cool. Yep, this one as well. And our last one. Probably, probably this Stegosaurus. This Stegosaurus that we have just purchased. It's a really cool one to say. A walking Stegosaurus. And, um, yep, with sounds and with lights. Pretty awesome. All right, so these are, you know, some of the favorite figures that I have in this, in this box. I want you guys to let me know as well which one are your most favorite from this video okay comment down below 
Stay tuned for more videos because next week we'll be getting a lot of new figures coming out from Mattel. I've purchased them, just waiting for them to arrive. So I'm really, really excited. Just want to show you guys maybe like a quick tour of um, our shell. Uh, I know that many of you guys, you know, want to like, you know, have a quick tour. So maybe let's let's do it right now. Okay, just a quick tour. Just a quick tour of um, the Jurassic World Lab 2 Midlands. But I need to get in here. Okay, so this is basically where we put all our Jurassic World 20... 15 figures right at the top all the figures from Hasbro this shelf this level you know contains some Jurassic Park you know the lost raptors and T-Rex this one as well Jurassic Park you know carnivores next we have some herbivores from Jurassic Park and this row is actually a row for all the different uh, amber collection series and this particular shelf contains all the, our repainted works. So we have just you know removed the Indominus Rex, you know, the Indoraptor. And here are some you know unopened Jurassic Park figures and some Jurassic World figures which are still in this box. Moving on to the middle shelf right here. Alright, at the top. This is actually some of the, you know, some of the really cool Jurassic Park figures. The Transformers set. We have, uh, you know, some really, really collector's item as well. The Ford Explorer. Yeah, you know, a six foot turkey kid. Um, you know, a T-Rex statuette and a Triceratops. This one right here, uh, you know, we, it basically contains some Jurassic Park figures as well. Spinosaurus. T-Rex, some collector's item. This portion right here belongs to Indominus Rex. So all the different Indominus Rex figures are placed right here. And some of the um, you know vintage T-Rexes. Okay, moving on to this shelf right here, right at the top, you can see all the Baryonyx, Ceratosaurus, Matriotentosaurus, and Allosaurus right over there. So basically all the carnivores. Next, we have some herbivores like, you know, Parasaurolophus and Montosaurus, Uranosaurus and Mosasaurus and Kylosaurus. And here are some of the prehistoric reptiles. We have flying reptiles, we also have marine reptiles right at the back. The Morphodons, Tyrannodons, Ramphorhynchus. Scorpius Rex collection right here, okay? Moving on, some, you know, more unopened figures. And right here are some of the um, Jurassic World collectibles. Basic figure set right over here. And some of the Camp Cretaceous, you know, human figures. Some playsets, the Mosasaurus skeleton playset. You have the Allosaurus Medical Center playset. Some Takara Tomy minifigures placed right at the back. I mean, right at the back, you can find some, you know, box, box collection as well. Okay, right at the top, you can see some figures placed. Spinosaurus over here, you know, all the different T-Rex, plenty of T-Rex right at the top. This section belongs to all the mini figures, okay, not exactly mini, but medium-sized figures, are mostly herbivores on top. This contains plenty of Velociraptors right at the back, okay? And um, Monolophosaurus, Herrerasaurus, uh, yeah, all the different carnivores. And here are where we place all the Stegosaurus, Stegosaurids. Okay, you have the Cantrosaurus right here. You have the Pentaceratops, Cynoceratops, Triceratops, all the different Ceratopsians. Uh, Pachyrannosaurus right at the back. This portion is where we place all the different carnivores like, you know, Tabosaurus, Albatosaurus, Cacarodontosaurus, uh, Seeds Mikorum, you know, some Dilophosaurus, Crelophosaurus, Conotaurus. This section used to be where we place our minifigures. But we actually replaced them, okay, to, to somewhere that, somewhere else. We re relocate them to somewhere else. Right at the bottom, you can find some really cool stuff, you know, sent to us from Mattel. Still in this original box. I mean, some of them we actually purchased on our own. So the minifigures have been moved. To this little shelf right here so okay I think this is the first time 
this shelf is appearing on YouTube. Yep. So this is basically where we placed all minifigures. Okay. And all minifigures are placed right here. Yeah, really, really nice. Really love this display, display case. Okay, so this is basically, yep. I mean, take a look at this mask. The mask that we have um, created just to make a video. Yep. So thanks for watching this. I'll see you guys next week for the next video, okay? Thanks. Subscribe for more dinosaur videos and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.